Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Beneficial and we're back again today with another OBS tutorial. For today's episode, we're going to be covering three different topics. The first one is adding your DJ software as a background to your live stream. The second one is adding sections of your DJ software to your live stream as an overlay. And the third one is just adding your waveforms with the transparent background. I think all this stuff is really good to know how to do if you're creating Instagram reels, TikTok videos, or tutorials. So I'm going to break all that down for you today. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. And without wasting any more time, let's jump right in. So to pull this effect off, the first thing you're going to need to do is to set up your green screen. And you also have to connect your computer to a second monitor. Once you have all that set up, you're ready to get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is drag our OBS software onto the second monitor. What we used to do is we used to add Siphon Client, but the only thing that works for now is Mix Emergency. So other than that, we're gonna go ahead and add a display capture. Now this only works if you have a second monitor connected. And if you click on the display tab, you can see now you can pick either one monitor or the other. We're gonna pick display zero, that's your main display, and then go ahead and click okay. Then we're just going to go ahead and resize it so everything fits. Now the dimensions are a little different so it may not perfectly fit. But for the most part this is your whole DJ software already in your OBS as a background. We're going to go ahead and just push it up here a little bit and cut off that top part and let's lock it in. Now you want to add a video capture device. And go ahead and pick your video source. If it doesn't pop up just go ahead and pick another setting and it will pop right up. Now the next thing we need to do is to crop all the area that's not covered by the green screen. The old way to do this is you would go to filters, you pick crop slash pad, and since you didn't know what the number was to put in, you would just go into the field, hold the up button until you slowly eventually cropped off that area. I know a much better way to do it than that. So we're gonna get out of this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the option button and you wanna click on the box when you see the double sided arrows, not on the line, on the box, and you can just drag it so much faster and easier. I'm gonna go ahead and crop off the top, a little bit off the left, and let's go ahead and crop some of those wires down there at the bottom. Let's get rid of that as well. Now one thing you're probably noticing right now is that my camera has a little bit of a tilt to it. We're gonna be able to fix that in just a moment here. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna to go to Edit, we're gonna to go to Transform, and we're gonna to go to Edit Transform, or you can just press Command E and it pops right up. Now this is all of your cropping information. And as you see, everything that we've already done is showing right down here at the bottom. Now we're gonna go over here to rotation and I'm just gonna rotate it a little bit until we get evened out. And right about there looks good to me. Let's go ahead and click close and we're gonna go ahead and just drag it down here a little bit. Now for this next step, we do need to go back into filters and we're gonna be adding a chroma key. And this is what makes all the green stuff go away when you have a green screen for a background. Now you're probably gonna notice there is a little bit of noise here. You wanna just play with the settings until you get it just right. And once you have it set, go ahead and close it. And now you're gonna see I'm right here with all my DJ software and I'm DJing right here in the middle of it. Let's go ahead and give this a test run real quick. And as you can see, everything's working. All right, so now we're ready to move on to our next topic, which is just adding a section of your DJ software into your OBS. So let's go ahead and unlock our display capture. Make sure you're holding down the option button and we're gonna click on the box. Make sure you're not on the line, be on the box when you get those double-sided arrows. We're gonna cut a little bit off the top. We're gonna cut a lot off of the side and we're gonna have to just slide it up here so we can get the box on the bottom. Go ahead and crop that up as well. And you're going to notice when you crop in this way, you get a green line. You don't get that green line when you crop it with a filter. So this is definitely the best way to crop your video. Now go ahead and press Command E to pull up your transform screen. And we're going to go ahead and lock in our display capture. What's really cool about this is even if it's locked in, you can still continue to crop it with the transform screen. So we're just gonna finely tune our crop. And the reason why I do it this way is just to make sure that the red and green lines go away so you can fully see what you're looking at. So we're just gonna cut a little bit off the left. We're gonna just finely tune this crop once you have it where you think it looks great. You're gonna hit Shift Command 4 
And that's gonna let you take a little picture here of a portion of your screen. And all we're gonna do is just take a picture of what our numeric value is on the crop. Because we have to do the same thing for the right side. The only thing that's gonna be different is we're gonna switch the information for the left and the right. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. So let's go ahead and open another display capture. And we're gonna do the same thing as before. We're gonna resize it here to the shape of the OBS window. Once you have it set, go ahead and lock it in. And press Command E. Let's bring open our transform window again. Now we see all of our numbers over here on the left. So since the left was four, we're gonna make the right four. Since the right was 1950, we're gonna make the left 1950. Top and bottom is gonna stay the same, 55 for the top and 1492 for the bottom. And that just saved us a lot of time. Go ahead and, and uh, close that window out, close your transform window, go ahead and unlock your display capture too, drag it to the right, go ahead and lock it in. And now as you can see, you have just the section of your DJ software that shows the BPM information, the song title, your cue points, and you have the rest of your screen available to do something else with. So what we're gonna do here now is add a background. Now if you were to go and add a media source and look for your file, that would be the slow way to do it. Literally, the quickest way to do it is just to have your file and just go ahead and drag it and drop it in there. And we're gonna go ahead and just resize this here to the size of the window, lock it in, and go ahead and make sure it's on loop. And just go ahead and push it down there to the bottom and now that's in your background. Now right here, this is a pretty cool looking stream. You can see the DJ, you can see the song title, the BPM info, and if you didn't wanna use the visualizer, you could also use Mix Emergency for your background. All right, so now we're on to the last and final segment, which is adding your waveforms with a transparent background. Once again, we're gonna add a display capture. This one is display capture number three. And we're just gonna do a rough crop. We wanna get as close to the line without going over it. We're gonna fine tune that here later in a second. So just get real close without going too far. Remember to hold option and click only on the box, not on the line when you get those double-sided arrows. And once you've got it pretty close, we're gonna go ahead and just drop this over here in the main area, lock it in so you can see the outline. Now you can see there's definitely some edginess here. So we're gonna go ahead and just fine tune that in our transform screen. Once again, that's Command E to pull up in that window. And just make sure you get rid of that gray outline. Any of the stuff on the top or the bottom, you wanna just crop all that extra stuff off as well. Now there is still a black background and we're gonna go ahead and take care of that now. So let's go to filters. This time we're gonna add a color key. Go to key color type, we're gonna pick custom and we're gonna select color. Go ahead and pick that black box over there at the top left, pick okay, hit close. And there it is, it's now transparent. Let's go ahead and drop that wherever you like and resize it. Lock it in, and there you go. Let's give this here a little test. Looks pretty good. We're gonna do this one more time. Add one more display capture. This one's display capture number four. Now what's gonna make this one a lot easier is going to display capture three, pressing Command E and copying the information from the left crop, press Command E on display capture four and paste that on the right crop. So whatever's on the left goes in the right, whatever's in the right gets copied and pasted on the left. Top and bottom stay the same. So for the top it's 133, for the bottom it's 1492. Go ahead and just paste that in there. Hit close. And now the right side's done. Go ahead and put that wherever you like. Make sure you resize it. Go ahead and lock it in. Let's give that a little test as well. Everything looks like it's running nice and smooth. Now, the only thing that's bothering me now is this little gray area. And 
I don't know exactly what color that is, but there is a way to find out. We're gonna go back over here to our Serato screen and we're gonna do what we did before, which is hold Shift Command 4. And we're gonna just take a little square of this, take a little picture, we're gonna grab that picture and we're gonna drop it right into Photoshop. Now what's really convenient about this is Photoshop is gonna open on its own. It's gonna create a template just with that picture being in there. And we don't need to do anything crazy in Photoshop. We just need to find out what the value is of that color. Once you have your Photoshop open, head over to the top right side of the screen and click on this little white box. It's gonna open up this little window here. And this is the color picker and it just helps you find the value of what a color is. So go ahead and click on your picture over here and now it's telling you the value is 111111. Now you can copy that and paste it if you like. That's pretty easy to remember though. So we're just gonna go ahead and close Photoshop now and head back over to OBS. Now that we're back in OBS, let's go back to our Display Capture 3 and we're gonna go back to Filters. We're gonna add another color key. And under key color type, we're gonna pick custom once again, select color. Now down over here at the bottom where it says HTML, that's where you put in those numbers. And go ahead and close it out. And now you see that that gray area is gone. Now we need to do the same thing to the other side as well. So what we're gonna do just to save a little time is we're gonna copy the filters from Display Capture 3 and we're gonna paste them onto Display Capture 4. And as you can see, it works perfectly. Let's give it a little test run here. Looks like everything's running nice and smooth. And there you have it. I hope you found the information in today's video to be helpful. And if you did and you wanna show your support, the easiest way to do so is to simply hit that subscribe button, drop a like, drop a comment, and feel free to let me know what you wanna learn more about and I'll always do my best to accommodate. I've been live streaming for several years now. I've been on the radio a couple of years and I've been DJing and video DJing for more than a decade now. So there's a lot of things I've learned over the years that I'm gonna be sharing with you in my future uploads. So make sure you stick around. And if you wanna come through, catch a vibe with me on Twitch, I'll put my Twitch information right here on the screen. And I'll also put it with a link in the description below as well. Other than that, just wanna say thank you for coming by. I appreciate each and every one of you and I'll catch up with you again on the next video. Peace.